Golden Fool, The Tawny Man Trilogy, Book Two, is a fantasy novel by Robin Hobb and the middle installment in the Tawny Man Trilogy. The novel continues to follow the life of Fitz Chivalry Farseer, a skilled assassin who has assumed a new identity as Tom Badgerlock, a servant and guard in the household of Prince Dutiful, his son. The story is set against the backdrop of political intrigue in the six duchies, as tensions with the neighboring Outislands rise due to the impending marriage between Prince Dutiful and Narcheska Eliania of the Outislanders. A significant part of the novel deals with Fitz's struggle to maintain his cover while maneuvering through the complex dynamics at court, as well as his relationships with those who know his true identity, like his mentor Chade and the Fool, who is now known as Lord Golden. Fitz is also tasked with ensuring Prince Dutiful's safety and aiding his education in the skill, the telepathic magic that links the Farseer royal line. However, Dutiful goes missing, having been lured into a trap by a group who opposes his betrothal. Fitz, along with the fool and others, sets out to rescue the prince. They find that he has been using the wit, an animal telepathy magic that is scorned in their society, to bond with a dragon-like creature which appears in the form of a black cat named Riddle. Through adventures and various conflicts, including encounters with old blood practitioners, those who use the wit, and piebalds who wish to expose all witted individuals, Fitz becomes enmeshed in a campaign to change the prevailing attitudes towards the wit. Alongside his efforts to protect the prince, Fitz is also dealing with his personal struggles and the loss of his wolf partner, Night Eyes, who died in the previous book, but continues to communicate with him from beyond the grave. Fitz's emotions are further complicated by his increasing attachment to the fool and feelings of love for Molly, his former love whom he left to protect. Fitz's relationship with the fool deepens, with the fool revealing an enigmatic prophecy regarding two potential fates for the world, one hinging on the existence of dragons. As the political intrigue continues, Tensions come to a head during an important ceremony concerning the prince's betrothal. The Narcheska challenges Dutiful to bring her the head of the dragon Icefire, which lies entombed in ice on a Slevyal island, as a proof of his worthiness. This challenge is steeped in Outislander custom and carries significant historical weight. Meanwhile, Chade and the Queen are also busy establishing a coterie for Dutiful, a group of skilled individuals who would link their minds to his to both protect and empower him. The formation of the coterie presents its own issues, as loyalties are uncertain and the art of skill training has largely been lost. Fitz becomes involved in uncovering potential traitors within the coterie and teaches the skill. The novel delves deep into the magic systems of the skill and the wit, exploring their connections and the prejudices that exist between the practitioners of both magics. The skill road, a magical construct allowing for swift mental travel, and the skill pillars, ancient teleportation stones, also play a significant role. Throughout the narrative, the intersections of Fitz's personal life with his duties as a servant, a mentor, and an assassin become increasingly complex. As his love for his foster son Dutiful mirrors the care and concern he holds towards his own natural daughter, unknown to her and most others, who was being raised by Burrich, his old friend, and Molly. Amidst this chaos, Fitz's identity crisis comes to the forefront. He is torn between his past life and the persona he has adopted for safety. As the novel ends, Fitz and the Fool, who is revealed to possess prophetic powers as the White Prophet, grow closer together in their quest to change the world according to the fool's enigmatic visions. They prepare for the journey to Aslevjal Island to meet the challenge set by Narcheska Eliania to slay the dragon Icefire, a quest that will test their strengths and the alliances formed in the six duchies. Golden Fool is a story of personal growth, responsibility, and the complexities of human and non-human relationships. Set in a world where magic is as much a part of politics and everyday life as intrigue and love. Throughout the book, readers are led to ponder the nature of humanity, the value of life, and the power of destiny as Fitz Chivalry navigates through his multifaceted existence. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.